All right, guys, check this out. B13 short shifter and a B12, basically no modification necessary. One hole had to be slightly ovaled out for this shift plate to fit into the balance shaft plate. But other than that, she's perfect. Okay, now I know what I told you guys. I told you guys that the front sway bar was gonna be the last thing we end up doing on the center for a considerable amount of time. I am moving to Japan to try and buy my absolute dream car, a Nissan Skyline R32 off of YouTube and Instagram AdSense. If you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe and follow along for that journey, but that was gonna be the last video on this car. Today is the last day I'm in this house. I'm gonna put this thing in park and it's, it's done. But I wanted to get one more video out for you guys because I just, honestly, I wanted to do it for myself. I wanted to do one more thing on this car before I let it sit for who knows how long. So today we are going to be installing a $45 Amazon short shifter for a B13. Now, um, this video was filmed kind of haphazardly, so anytime you see me pop up like this, know that I'm giving you guys crucial information for how to install this, so don't skip these segments. Now, um, there's some misinformation out there that this is a short shifter, just a shortened shaft, and not actually a short throw shifter, but uh, I lined it up with the OE shifter once we pulled it out, and it is in fact a short throw shifter. So, links below to this B13 short shifter. It works on this 1989 B12 two-door sedan Sentra. I am 99% confident that it will work for all B12 Sentras, considering they are all basically identical. Now, a few things that I'm gonna talk about uh, need to be addressed, but we'll get to those in just a second. So, we're gonna roll the footage. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the install. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I claimed in the last video, the Sway Bar episode, that we are finally doing cool stuff to the Sentra. And if you can hear, the car is running and I'm holding a short shifter. So we're gonna go over to Matt's place and we're gonna install this bad boy. I'm super excited for this. I have heard that this is not actually a short throw shifter, but is it in fact just a shortened shifter? So we're also gonna measure and find out if this does work and it works how I want. I'll make sure to link it down below in the description for you guys, so make sure to check that out. Let's go. Okay, here's what we're working with. We got short shifter, a plate, and then a pack of hardware. And then just to show you guys the throw, I'm sure you've all seen it, but pretty large gap in between gears. That bag just ended up at work the normal metric shit. All right guys, so first thing you're gonna do when you get under here is you're gonna take out your cat, just two 17s in the front, two 17s in the rear, and then you're gonna take out your heat shield, which is four 10 mils, and then you have access to basically everything under here. So there are two nuts that hold in your actual shifter, and then there is one that's on that pivot point right there. So we're gonna take out those two nuts, and that boy right there, and then it should pop out the top. Okay, hi, I told you guys I'd show up again later. So, uh, a few pieces of information on the actual install. So, um, you're going to drop the cat out, you have two bolts, you have two nuts, that's super easy, and then you have a heat shield, that is uh, five 10 mils. So there's gonna be four kind of like this holding it up, and then one sort of in the back. So, pop all of those off, and then you expose everything. So. Now there is a, what's called balance shaft and a shift shaft. So you're gonna disconnect the shift shaft and you're gonna need to disconnect the balance shaft from both the uh, shifter as well as up near the front near the trans. So there's a nut up there and it can slide off and then you're gonna slide it out of your actual shift column because you need to take it completely out to be able to get the shifter out of the hole. It kind of looks like, it's it's weird. You need to take it completely out. It'll pop right out, trust me, there's a certain angle. I mean, we could clean some space on the floor if you want. No, this is perfect. Okay guys, once you get, you gotta take the whole balance shaft off so it's uh, bolt and nut on that side and then this should already all be done, undone and then this guy just slips out with a very specific angle. Now we're gonna line them up and see if this is actually a short shifter or not. Okay, so we've lined up our short shifter and our OE shifter, so the shifter is not only shorter in length, but also this is the base, and you can see the, the pivot point, no, that's not the pivot point, the, uh, the mounting point here is farther from the fulcrum, so this is going to be a short shifter. Right? Technically, technically, also, the fulcrum on that one is higher up inside of the blue piece, so you can see yeah. the blue piece mounts, but the, that actual because this this pivots from up here exactly. and this one pivots from down here yep so it's from here to here versus here to here longer fulcrum gives you a shorter throw very nice okay we're gonna slap this in uh this actually let's see i've been told that this might have to get filed so yeah I think it fits. 
Yeah, so we're gonna file this hole away a little bit and then this is gonna go in. Uh, to get this bad boy in, some people are like, you have to sit there with a file and stuff like that. No, uh, line it up, there'll be kind of a spot where it kind of drops in and then boom, one tap with the mallet, it should go right in. About this shit. Okay. Herbert's <laughs> about to get impaled. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's do it. Did it go? No, I think it's, I'm hitting this probably. Here, let's try it from the other side. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, can we Fuck rotate? Um, Here, hold it on your left side. Go hold on right here. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Here we go. This is better. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What are we doing? What are we doing? This is what oh, we're there doing. we go. This is what we need to oh, do. Oh, now we're counting. Okay. Oh, that's so close. Yeah, boys. I didn't get your hand, did I? No. I'll take it back. So you don't want to file. You're just going to need just pound her in. a little bit of a, a pounding. Okay, so we pushed the actual short shifter through our stabilizer bar right here. And this thing needs a bit of a hammer to get through the hole. And then we put our plate on top. Um, one of these holes had to get slightly ovaled out so that we could fit our bolts through. Uh, nuts on top. This is kind of a stupid design, but I think this is how it goes. And then we're gonna bolt up our stabilizer bar inside the car, and then everything else you took off will go underneath here. And then it's pretty much ready to go. There's some shims and washers that go in through right here so that you can actually put your shift shaft on. So those are these. Okay, so it's installed. Now to mount this actual plate, um, this was a poor design. You wanna slide the plate onto the shifter. There is a snap ring and then um, I had to oval out one of the holes just so slightly on the actual balance shaft plate so that the short shaft plate could fit on and bolt up. Now, um, you do two bolts from the bottom and then two nuts on top of that to lock it all in and then everything. I put the whole shifter assembly, tightened it all up and everything on the balance shaft. Balance shaft goes right up and then all of your shift linkages get connected. There's some uh, copper bushings as well as some washers and now this is where you're gonna to wanna to pay very close attention to how tight you tighten the shift shaft on to the actual shifter because if it's too tight, it'll shift like garbage. If it's too loose, it'll be all floppy and all over the place. But once you get that tightness between the shift shaft and the shifter perfect, you'll be able to, you know, bash through gears and it'll be amazing. Now, um, I got this super cool, uh, super cheap shift knob from Amazon. It fits perfect. I think it looks like a little OE plus and it's not like all gross like the old shift knob. So that's what I went with. And now on top right here, we're just gonna put the dampening boot back on as well as our actual shift boot, so. Now, here's what you guys have been waiting for. The actual short shifter part of the short shifter install. First, second, third, fourth. And then we've got a super tight detent, and then, and then reverse. I like to put into third. Mine's a little sticky. And then there's reverse. So, again, it's clearly a short shifter. The throw is so much shorter. This thing is so tight. And then, in gear, minimal play. Very, very nice. Reverse. That's about all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching probably the last video on this car for a while. If you guys were interested and heard me talking about moving to Japan, the next video is probably me in Japan. So keep an eye out for that. If it's not, then it's a filler video because I am doing the most hectic stuff trying to get ready for this move. So uh, if you guys enjoyed me and this channel, make sure to subscribe. There's also some merch, but this store might be closed by the time you see it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.